YouTube, it's Danny, and I'm back with another video, and I am actually going to unbox something called the MPK Mini. And what is the MPK Mini, you ask? Well, it's from Akai, it's for Mac or PC, and it allows you to make music or beats with uh, this piano-like interface uh, via USB. So very, very simple to set up and install, in theory. So let's go ahead and we're going to open it up. All right, so in the box, if I get the box to open up all the way. We've got obviously the MK, MPK Mini. Now what's cool about this particular MPK Mini is that it's a limited edition. And by that I mean just the color, that's all it is. The original MPK Mini I was looking at was, uh, they had a black and white one which was cool and then they had a red and white one which is even cooler and then they had a red and black one which i almost got but then i saw this limited edition black and white and it gets it's gonna go perfect with my gaming pc as you can see it's not very big there you go get a nice good look i'm gonna peel the plastic off the keys and it's got reverse keys so we've got black with white keys which is pretty cool this is very light so Let's get a closer look here. There's the sides. There's the top. You've got all the beat pad buttons, knobs, all kinds of stuff. And I will do a, a in-depth walkthrough video of this. This is just really just the unboxing video. Uh, so right here is where the USB cable goes in. We've got the sustain port on the back right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're interested in checking this out, I will have a link down below. Uh, I got this at Guitar Center, it was $99, not bad. Um, and it's because of your support that I was able to actually pick one of these up on the fly. It's very nice. So I think what I'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and I'll show you just a brief, quick overview of what it can do. Okay, so after several hours, let's say three or four, of figuring out how the heck to hook this up with the software, I finally got it all hooked up. And uh, I had to look it up on YouTube, and there's an old video that kind of taught me how to do it. If you guys want, I may just make a better version of that video if I can. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that. Anyway, enough of the talk. Let's play around. Okay, so it's all set up. We're ready to go here. I'm going to be messing with the software on the computer itself to give you different sounds. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll turn on the ring light so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, that does help. Okay, cool. So, uh, just gonna play some random sounds. There's all kinds of, there, I mean, there's hundreds of sounds you can choose from in the software that it comes with. And this all sorts of other software, but this is, I just have the basic software that it came with right now to play with, so I'll just use that to demonstrate. So here we go. Here's the beat pads. <laughs> tap tempo here so pretty cool right keep in mind that this is not a synthesizer this is actually a MIDI input device what MIDI does is MIDI relies on software whereas the synthesizers do not synthesizers have the software built into the boards themselves this is heavily relied on software without software you wouldn't hear a thing. So keep that in mind when thinking about buying one of these. Um, I prefer these because they're affordable, fun, and I love software. So that's why I have a gaming PC. Anyway, so that's one thing. This is a little low, so I'm gonna turn it up some more. And let's see. You can adjust how it sounds. Very subtle difference on that one. Let me use a different sort of sound. In fact, all these sounds are kind of soft. they're kind of soft. So uh, I'm gonna go with. I like sequenced a lot, so we'll play with that. This sound right here sounds like it reminds me of a uh, Stranger Things a little bit. So you hear that? All right, that's cool, and I can I can tweak with the pitch with this joystick. Mm -hmm. 
Pretty cool, right? And you can use more than one pad. You don't have to just use one. You can use two. A whole new sound, right? Very cool. You can use three. I love that. I think it's great. You know. Um, you can really jag with it, you know. You can. You don't have to use the pads either. You can also use the keyboard. Now that sounds different because I have the tap tempo one still. So you get a whole different sound. If I turn that off. Pretty cool, you know, and let me just hit a different uh, tune here. Knob is changing it. Isn't that crazy? You can, like totally make it fade away. To have a little bit of sound. Bring it back. Very cool. Some are pretty subtle, whereas others are noticeable. That does sound, it sounds like. So cool. So let me just keep going through the list here and see what else what other sounds we can make. That's pretty cool. These are all like driver sounding songs or sounds, I should say. And boy, I mean driver meaning they keep going. Uh, it's a type of sound. See, and you can use pads and keys. Pretty cool. Jack with it. Very cool. Alright. There's that. It's kind of cool. I like this one a lot. This is called Tran Transbond. Hey. I don't know why we must be like hackers, you know, like a hacker sound or like a hacker song, like like they're they're sitting hunched over in the dark with hoodies on, hacking away in the dark web. Bad boys or whatever. I don't know. Just thought. <laughs> There's a chord stack. This is called Crushed on You. And that's cool. I mean, these are all really cool. Simply Green. I don't know why that sounds familiar, but it does. Can you imagine like adding to this? I, I could have had more equipment, but anyway. Um, let's try... Let's try some, some uh, percussive sounds here. Here's Sonar. Okay, that's kind of boring. Trapped metal. Tune noise. Dynamic pluck. <laughs> oh, that's funny to me what it is. Okay, and out of your mind is this one.
mallet maker. Kind of that soft sound. Uh, they got FX. Here's Chaos Theory. Kind of like that name. Sound is creepy. Noise garble. That's right. Uh, this is a staccato sensor. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ever been to Japan is the name of this one. That's a little different. So yeah, you get the point. Um, trying to see if there's anything else that's pretty cool. Let's try arpeggios. Glass art. Ooh, I like that. Let's add to it, shall we? Okay, all right, I like that a lot. That's a good choice. Very cool. Let's try it with the pad. All right, now we're going to add the keys and the pad. See how much fun you can have? You can just create something out of nowhere. You know, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Let's see what else we got in this section. That is so cool. I think I have a new favorite section. That's very cool. So cool. Hey. Sounds really good with some drums. signs that's cool very cool this is called star glitter nice trance overdrive rhythm this ought to be interesting oh yeah like a car chase almost start with the b pad Clean beauty. Mm, all right, that's different. Happy chimes. That's cool. You notice the beat pad's gonna have the more bassy sound of that particular uh, sound class. Tech riff. All right, let's try with the beat pad. All right, let's try it together. A thick model wheel. That's pretty cool. Try it with the pad. Pretty nice. the organ. That's cool. Hey. Uh, uh, or whatever. I don't know. All right, guys. If you would like to check this out, I will link it below. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Because this thing is a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.